All right. Let's see if this guy really has his average, as we're all saying. Maybe we're all just too spoiled at this point. And, uh, you know, I think most people probably know this already, but Janim is not bad. He's not. He's actually good. He's very, very good. But could they have done more, though? That's always the question. What is going on everyone, Talon back here, and today we are going to be taking the brand new EZA STR Janemba into Extreme Super Battle Road, alright? So I'm taking him against Super Physical, I've got him SA15, he's level 10 links, all that fun stuff is going to show him here, he's unfortunately on the second rotation as they always happen to have, but again, he's rainbowed, uh, I got all the dupes and everything like that, no uh, no equips into him though, but I do have level 10, level 10 boss, or uh, level 10 bosses, well, I mean, yeah, big bad boss is what you kind of need, but regardless, I have have all level 10 links and everything so obviously we can't bring another janimba card to get every single link active but most extreme str units they can get around four or five of these links activated you know obviously be bad bosses fierce battle shocking speed yada yada right so yeah you know i figured it's kind of good to do that so we're just gonna we're gonna see how he does here i want to know how good janimba is um unfortunately i, I no. so th this is gonna be the weird kind of rotation i want to do with this guy but this is how it's gonna work basically I'm going to have him and Cell together, actually. Now, that's going to make him look a little bit better than what he typically does because Cell, just by being there when it comes to facing off against two or more opponents, is just going to be lowering the enemy's attack. So it's going to look like he's blocking and guarding all this stuff, and you're like, holy crap, he's taking, like, no damage whatsoever. And to an extent, he actually does. He's very... I mean, he's basically int Janimba, right? Um, the calculation has been done already. Int Janimba can get a little bit of a higher attack, but STR can block a little bit better just because of natural defense that they get automatically. Um, just... The thing is that everyone's like, well, if, if I don't have STR Janemba, it's like, what's the point of picking him up when basically Injun is free for most people because of the Red Dragon Stone and everything. So, I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see what's going to happen here. But um, if you want to see a complete, you know, I'm not complete, but like some snippets and everything that I took on my phone, I just, you know, screen recorded and posted them on Twitter. That shows like Janemba with, you know, no support, no items. Uh, no characters that are lowering the attack or anything. There's raw damage and raw tanking potential. I will have that down in the pinned comment. Go ahead and check that out. It just simply shows exactly what he does and everything. Uh, but without further ado, let's just go ahead and start this up, okay? So, not the best rotation to start off here. Let's see how well we can do. Let's go ahead and do with this. Um, is that enough for him that is to attack everybody, which is really, really good? And I'll have you attack Yamcha. I'm going to try and not use any items for this first rotation. Um, but because Cooler obviously doesn't tank the best, obviously, we already know that. 26 isn't bad, though. I'm out like that. Um, he does have big bad bosses activated. Cell, unfortunately, is all level 1 links. So let's see how well Cooler here can do. Uh, I was hoping for the double. If it had been a double, we would have taken him down. That will hurt in the morning. That's definitely going to hurt in the morning right there. 24, about to expect it. All right, so Cell. And I still heal up on his 11 key super attack. I don't remember. That cell heals up on something. Can't remember. That's gonna hurt. Alright. Uh we may potentially be dead here. Well, actually, Yamcha can't super attack us. Uh we're gonna lower his attack. Oh, we took him down. Never mind. Okay. So we survived by the skin of our teeth, but whatever. It is what it is. So big bad boss is shocking speed and fear and faith. Or sorry, fear and faith. Uh fierce battle. So if we do this, he still gets big bad boss. He just loses the shocking speed. So uh, I believe that should be six right there. Yeah. So let's go with that. Um, so he's not getting any boost from the uh, the boat the Bojack here because Bojack is not he's not on Bojack's category. We all know that uh, any Janemba's greatest weakness is simply the fact that well they're not on many categories essentially right. Especially movie bosses and transformation boost. He does have his new category. But you need a new tech one to even take advantage of that. So, um, you know, why not? I'll, I'll let I'll let him attack. Um, if you're wondering why I have Sealus at the end here, just because I did. Uh, now, the funny thing is that STR Rosé actually is probably one of Janemba's best linking partners. That's not a Janemba card. However, STR Rosé is not in transformation boosts. So, 
yeah, can't really do that. And I wanted to put him on a team where he actually was getting like his full potential, right? Like, yeah, yeah, I could have taken him under two Janemba leads and done, you know, 130%. percent like, okay, guys, just note that he's not doing as much, obviously, and yada, yada, yada stuff, right? But I didn't want to do that. So, um, anyway, so we're going to finish it up here. And uh, I wasn't really paying attention to what uh, the Janemba actually did. So, so, you guys have to remember this Janemba now basically has 100% attack and defense, he guards against all types. And then for every dodge that he does during that turn, his dodge chance goes up. So if you get like really lucky and everyone's attacking you in the first slot, you get a dodge off and you keep, you keep getting dodges and dodges and dodges, then theoretically you're going to dodge everything, right? But we all know that a medium chance to dodge isn't exactly the highest, right? And sometimes RNG can just kind of be like, <laughs> yeah, boom, just get out of here essentially, right? Um, so we almost have the rotations exactly as we want them to. Um... Kind of want to go with this. Why don't we go with this? Let's see what we can do here. Um, now he's not getting boosted by Cooler yet because there's only uh, there's not one opponent on the field, and uh, Cooler only boosts the uh, Conquest of Terrors category. So let's go ahead and lower Goku's attack. I don't need to worry about Bardock or Bardock uh, Bojack for the most part. He should actually be okay. Let's. I want to see what happens here. I want to see what happens here. I think we'll be okay. Okay, he's got that dodge in there. So now his dodge chances up. So we're hitting 3 million attack stat. No support. Uh, being linked up. Obviously, he has big bad bosses. Fierce battle. And a couple of the links activate. Oh, can he dodge? Okay. All right. So he dodged both of those attacks. So that's actually really nice. That that the dodge finally kicked in. Again, relying on some chance there. But it is what it is. All right. Uh, 45, 18. Yeah, obviously, through, by Goku, you're going to take less damage. Because we lowered his attack. Thanks to Cooler there. Uh, let's see. Bo now, Bojack needs a ton of extra HP and attack and defense. He's probably got there's a reason i really like str bojack i'm not gonna lie there is a huge reason i love str bojack so um i will i'm just gonna activate icarus just because just you know to have him there and everything like that um why don't we go for you actually i just realized i do want to take down goku because i want to try and get a boost with cooler for janemba to make him look a little bit more impressive so we'll go with that right there um, hopefully Frieza doesn't show off too much. 6.4 million attack stat. <laughs> He's all level 10 links too. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Thank you, Frieza, for knocking the additional. And now Cooler can take down Goku. We should be good. Yeah, he'll, he'll take down Goku, no problem. Here we go. All right. So now we're going to get into... Oh, uh, okay. It's not additional super attack. I'm like, don't do a cooler. Come on. Don't show off. <laughs> All right. Uh, that will hurt. But we, again, we activated Icarus, so we should be fine. Yeah, we're totally fine. All right. Um, this is perfect here. Okay. So, no, no, no. I'm not going to do that. So, I am going to... So, he does... This is like one of his best situations right here where he's got every link activated. If I don't have him with cooler, he does lose a couple of links which are some decent attack links. So he's at 308 right there. And then right there, he's at 356. So that's obviously a lot, but I want to at least show an attack off because Cell's autom automatically going to get an attack here no matter what. So I'm going to go with this. And we're going to give him that. We're going to give that to Cell. And we'll give that to Cooler to try and not show off too much. Okay. So 3.2 or basically 3.3. Um, so basically, if he had been in the middle there, probably would have been a 3.5, give or take. All right. So you took him down. All right. Cool. 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 All right. I, like I said at the beginning of the video, like, SCR Cooler is not a bad card. He's actually really good. He is. He really is. It's just that they, they basically brought him in line with the Int one, but it almost feels like they were scared to try and push him past the Int one because the Int one was far, you know, was way better than, you know, ahead of his time and everything like that. Um, so I'm going to go with this because I want to see what we can do with Janimba with uh, the Cell next turn. So we're going to go with that. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. And we'll go with that right there. Bojack's really here just to make Cooler actually look a little bit better, funny enough. So actually, make the Frieza look good, good as well. That's fine. Uh, we activated that item. This Frieza should be fine. He hasn't gotten an attack off yet, but now Frieza's going to look impressive. But yeah, anyway, back to what I was saying about uh, the STR Janimba, though, is that because they basically brought him in line with the Int one, they, they weren't able to distinguish him enough from the other one. And so what a lot of people were kind of mad about when it came to the... Int Gogeta 
versus the str gogeta after int finally got his EZA is that there is absolutely no reason to use str I, i'm not talking about tight super bad or anything but there is absolutely no reason to use str over the int int is better in every single way no matter what whereas with janimba they're basically the same and it's almost like preference right it's like do you want the cooler looking super attack i mean that's, that can definitely be debatable a little bit or do you want you know the int one who gets a little bit of a higher attack stat and the str one can definitely you know can tank and when i when i say little bit i'm talking like i don't know i think it's like five thousand, like total attack like not an actual five thousand attack stat difference like um, you know, like when you see a tax set of 3 million or something like that, I think it's like between 3 million and like 3.2 or 3.1 or something like, you know, like minuscule stuff basically. Right. Um, so it's, it's definitely interesting to think about there. But when I look, when I originally saw, um, uh, why don't we go with that? Just technically the weaker one, go with that. And cause I do want to get the Dokkan attack with this guy. Um, hopefully if we can. But when we, when we saw the details and then we start seeing the showcases and I even start using it myself a little bit, I'm like. So I'm basically going to use STR Janimba if I just simply feel like it. But at the same time, if, if you're a player who maybe has Janimba at 55% compared to the Int one, which I believe for the most part has been playing for a decent while, if you have, you should have him at Rainbow, you're going to pick the Int one every single time. Like seriously, you are, right? It's, 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 it's you know, those, those questions, you know, like a lot of YouTubers will get where you see them on Twitter and everything or Reddit or anything like that or in comments and videos and be like, hey, should I pick up this copy of this character for the, his EZA because, you know, he's super good or anything like that. And for characters for something like, you know, uh, you know, physical Vegeta Blue or something like that, it's like, it's actually kind of worth it sometimes if you don't have him or if you only want a dupe of him or something where it's like, yeah, you know what? Or throw it. Throw a few red coins at him and grab a copy of him because he's not the full 400, 500 that an LR or a Dokkan Fest exclusive nowadays is going to be. You know, they can be they can run anywhere from 150 to 200, which can still be a lot for people. At the same time, it might be worth it if we're going to use them all the time. But with Janimba, it's just like, yeah, do you have him rainbowed on the end one? Yes. Well, don't grab the SCR one. There really is no point. Like, there really isn't. There is absolutely, like, if, if the SCR cooler did something different, enough to distinguish himself then i'd be like yeah no grab him but he doesn't <laughs> so um we're gonna go with that and uh, no more str orbs are coming down uh am i gonna be able to do the dokkan attack uh, i mean we're probably gonna finish this off before i even get the dokkan i'm we're, we're probably gonna fin we're not gonna be able to get the dokkan attack with jim i mean honestly he would have wasted this entire you know rotation and we've been done it doesn't matter but i don't know it's, just, it's, it's, it's interesting to think about so i don't know let me hear this down below guys when it comes to the str jim but like if if somebody was to ask you, should I pick up SGR Janimba with my red coins or, you know, someone on the banner or whatever the case is, right? Mostly talking to new players or anything or somebody who doesn't have him or wants a dupe or two of him. What would you say? I would personally say no. I'd just be like, no, if you have the, if you have the int one, no, nah, that, that's what you stick with. That's literally what you stick with. So that's just my, that, that's my personal thought. So let me hear your thoughts down below, guys. When it comes to that, Frieza probably got about to annihilate Goku here with that huge attack stat right there. Yeah, no, he, um... Looking a little dead there. And now we're going to lower uh, Gohan's attack here. So Gohan should basically be doing nothing to us. Especially if we get doubles. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so with that, we're going to let Janemba go up here. Uh, again, just being more cautious than anything. Just going to heal up here. Now he's going to look like super impressive, right? He's going to be like, oh yeah, he's tanking all this stuff and everything. Uh, so we're going to go with that. I just, I really wish they had made him like a... Uh, an orb changer or something like that, right? They, they, they've done it in the past with other Dokkan Fest EZAs where they just add in this extra stuff, right? I saw, I've seen a few comments saying like, you know, like they, they've never done something so drastically changing how a unit does and everything, but there are units that they've added in support for, you know, like the Super Saiyan Blue uh, Vegito or the Tech Merge Zamas, right? They are support units for their extreme or super side counterparts. I wasn't originally part of their you know original passive or anything like that yeah they helped them out and everything so it's not technically a huge departure but is orb changing really that big of a thing for str you know for str Janimba or anything like that uh we're gonna let frieza just demolish goten here because uh <laughs> it's, it's basically ggs here so i don't know i just again he's not bad please do not you know mistake my the way i'm saying things right now saying oh my god Talent said STR Janimba is bad and worthless and everything. No, by no means is he he's good. He is a good card. Just in terms of an easy A, it's it's on the lower side. I mean, Broly's still the worst. There's I mean, as of right now at least, Broly's still the worst. There's no question about it out of the 120 leads. 
And again, Janemba's not bad in terms of his EA, but in terms of the upgrade that he got, it's kind of just like, eh? So I, I'd, I'd have to, I had to put him above Broly, obviously, but in terms of the other EZAs that we've seen so far, I have to, I got to put him in second to last. I do. I personally do. So I don't know. I'm going to test him out on like movie heroes and or movie heroes, movie bosses and everything. We'll have to see how he does. So anyway, guys, that's me for the video. Though. Let me get that down below in the comments as always. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you have to be new. And until next time, everyone, I will see you all in the next one. Johnny.